I'm Sarah Walters with La Terraza, and I'm here today to talk to you about our clay carbon transfer project. Here are some samples that we've done, and it's just taking any simple line drawing. You can put anything from the computer that you want. Here we have a sample of some of uh, the Day of the Dead skulls, good for Cinco de Mayo coming up, or some hearts. Just really simple. We don't want anything too detailed. Or here's some nice patterns that you can use. So anything really simple. So today we're going to do this owl. And in your kit, you're going to get your piece of clay carbon. And you're going to place it on your plate. You want to test it by taking a pencil and making a small line and making sure that the line comes through on your plate. If it doesn't, that means your paper is backwards and you have to flip it over. Testing your clay carbon only works on the ceramic piece, so you can't test it on a piece of paper. It has to be on the ceramic piece. So then you're gonna take your picture that you want and place it on your project, wherever you want it to go. Now this is a bit time consuming, and this project may be geared better towards adults, you want to trace with your pencil every line within that line drawing. So there we have our basic outline of our owl. And now what we want to do is we want to take our liner and you're going to want to outline all your lines with the black. So as you're outlining, I find it's good to have a little bit of water on your brush, not too much, but it helps the paint just slide a little and makes that outline a little bit thinner. So each time I just put the little part of my brush in the water so that it slides nice and easy. Once you're done with your outline, you can start with your color. And we're gonna switch to a little bit bigger of a brush and we're just gonna fill in. And again, I like to add just a little bit of water to the brush so it slides. So I'm doing some gray here to fill in my feathers, every so often dipping it in water. Okay, so we're just gonna finish off our decorating quick. And then we are going to move on to our background. Nice bright orange background. And this too, I just thin the paint out a little bit, just using a lot of water so the colors kind of blend. And then the very last thing, which seems tedious, but it just makes it so much crisper, is to go back over your black lines. And there's something about this last step that after it's fired, it really just pulls everything together. It may seem unnecessary, but after it fires, it really looks great. 